What's up everyone, my name is Gary Black. Well, welcome back to the vlog, heading straight into the Hustler Casino here. I'm a little bit late. Uh, Monday afternoon, 1 p.m., nowhere else I'd rather be. I got about five hours sleep last night because I was up till 7 a.m. doing a puzzle, like a puzzle, like a retro puzzle. And I'm super tired today, so I need an omelet and a coffee as soon as possible. Uh, we've got a big ass list of players today. I'm hopeful we can get 10, 20. I say that every fucking day, but maybe today's the day. All right, let's get straight into action. Let's play some, some fucking cards. I am exhausted here in Los Angeles as I arrive at the casino. The puzzle took three full days to complete complete but it was totally worth it. Now today is Monday afternoon, the games can be quite good here on a Monday so I'm very much looking forward to the grind. We're going to start the game five-handed but it'll fill up later on for sure. On to our first hand of the day and it is literally, like literally, our first hand of the day. I'm in the big blind with 5-4 offsuit, it folds all the way around to the middle blind who raises to $30 and I say, do you know what, it's the first hand of the day and I make the call. Our first flop of the day is Jack 8-7 rainbow and my opponent c-bets for $35. I've got the idiot end of the straight draw and I'm in position, so I make the call. The turn is a full rainbow 10 and when he checks to me, he may as well be giving me the pot right now. I take a stab for $100, not getting through just yet though as he makes the call. The river is a king, he checks once more and I'm wondering how spew a day I'm going to have if I'm wailing about with 5 high in the very first hand, but I've come this far, I bet one last time for $200 and after a few seconds my opponent just folds, he shows a jack as he folds I cannot resist the temptation to show my cards it's a bit mean for me but I just can't help myself all right next up I'm on the button with pocket kings hijack is raised to $30 I re-raise to $100 and the big plan is going to put in the re-re-raise to $320 action is back on me and I jokingly say to him how long do I have to fake tank here before I move all in and then I move all in. He sigh calls his hand. I'm fully expecting him to have ace king, but he's got ace queen. We're going to run it twice here for this pot worth $3,000. Over to you, dealer. Yeah, two times, two full words. Okay, very nice double up there he didn't actually show his cards until after both boards were dealt so i was a bit worried he had either ace king and we were chopping or he had pocket queens and i was losing but a very very clean double up indeed for me with my pocket kings there next up i'm in the big blind with ace queen of hearts under the gun is a local pro he raises to 25 dollars the middle blind makes the call and i squeeze to 140 dollars from the big blind both players are going to make the call. We're going to go three ways to the flop, which is queen, five, four, rainbow. Really good start from here with top pair, top kicker, and a backdoor flush draw. So I see bet my hand for $140, about one third pot. Under the gun is going to make the call, but the third player in the hand is going to get out of the way. The turn is a dreamy queen of clubs. A really nice turn card for me here, and I decide to continue to bet about $350. My opponent thinks for a few seconds and then says poker is stupid out loud and then folds. Something tells me me that he had 5-4 suited for flop 2 pair that has now just been counterfeited. I will absolutely take it. I am now up $2,020 for the day. Next up, we've got a round of straddles. I am in the straddle with 10-9 of hearts. The same pro from the last hand is going to raise to $60 under the gun. The big blind makes the call and I call out the straddle. Three ways we go to 7-3-3 three, three with two hearts. Pretty good start for me here with the flush draw and the backdoor straight draw. Under the gun is going to see bet for $100. The big blind gets out of the way and I'm definitely raising this hand sometimes but I'm prioritizing my strongest flush draws with the lowest kickers hands like ace deuce of hearts or king five of hearts will be preferred here just so that we can flush over flush our opponents more often I make the call here and we see a dreamy ace of hearts hit the turn running really well so far today I checked my opponent and he checks it on back the river is the fourth heart it's the six of hearts and I checked my opponent once more. He bets $150. I don't love it, but I, of course, snap call. I'm not folding my hand. And he turns over five four of clubs for a stone cold bluff. Really nice for me to pick that off on the river. It's another pot coming my way up around $2,400 after about 40 minutes or so of grinding. And what's more, I'm now breaking my 16 hour fast with this incredible Hustler Casino omelet. They make it for me every day. It's absolutely lit and it brings me tons of run goods. Back to the poker now and not much is going to happen for me for the next hour or so before I take a quick break to stretch my legs. This is a habit that I have very recently been trying to incorporate into my grind. I nearly didn't do it today, but I do force myself to go outside and chill for five minutes. All right, we are about 
two and a half hours into the grind I wasn't going to come out and walk around and chat to the camera and stuff um, which would be classic Gazzy B behaviour to promise myself I want to create a habit and then it dies after a few days but I forced I got myself out of the chair and came out and walked around a little bit I feel fine and the game is really good but I still think this is a good idea to just stretch your legs for 5-10 minutes miss an orbit and come out and chat to you guys I'm up about $2,500 very smooth day so far today I doubled up in the fucking second hand won a bunch of small to medium sized pots and now we've converted the game the game is not amazing today it's certainly not terrible but uh, I love playing the bigger game everyone buys in deeper and stuff like that so that's nice um, yeah just chilling weather's quite good today not much else to report let's get back to the grind all right back into the grind great to stretch my legs there every couple of hours and mentally reset a little the game is now 5 10 20 i love the bigger game with the deeper buy-in i'm in for a 3k total and it takes a long time in this bigger game before i play any hands of note next up i pick up pocket kings yet again this time in the big blind the hijack is raised to 60 dollars. he's an unknown reggae looking fella the small blind makes the call and i squeeze it on up to 300 dollars. the hijack makes the call the small blind gets out of the way and we go ahead up to the flop which is an amazing ace king for rainbow flopping a set is fantastic but the ace means i could win a huge pot if my opponent's got a hand like ace queen or ace jack i see that my hand for 230 dollars hoping my opponent doesn't fold and i'm delighted to see that he makes the call to the turn it's another king this is complete overkill dealer i really didn't need quads here now i decide to check my hand which in hindsight i think is a mistake i should just bet the turn and shove the river if i want to check a hand it should be pocket aces which blocks top pair but the king's unblocked top pair so i should just barrel it off even if i do have quads the hijack is going to check it on back and we see the most meaningless offsuit seven of all time roll off i decide to bet my hand here for 1350 dollars try and get max value from an ace but he just snap folds a little annoying i doubt he's snap folding an ace so i guess it's no harm done i think he would think about it for at least a few seconds if he actually had an ace but what excitement turning quads in a three bet pot now kings have been really good so far for me today and i picked them up for a third time around an hour later again in the big blind cutoff is raised to 60 dollars. our local resident podcaster charlie raises to 270 dollars in the middle blinds and i put in the cold four bet out the big blind to 650 dollars action is back on charlie and he makes the call heads up to the flop it is ace nine five with two diamonds i don't love that ace one bit but i think we've got a range bet here so i decide to see bet my hand for 350 dollars my opponent thinks for a few seconds and then he makes the call the turn is a pretty ugly queen he's either got an ace or pocket queens or pocket jacks here really often and i'm now behind to even more hands he checks to me and i fake tank for a few seconds before checking it on back the river is another queen pocket queens kind of unlikely now although i did have quads myself earlier on today my opponent now throws out a very milky bet of 400 dollars. this is so tempting to just sigh and snap call but maybe it's designed to be tempting and make me call or maybe it's designed to look like it's tempting but it actually wants me to fold it's a really really tough spot but in the end i decide that i've got enough ace x to call here i'm gonna call for a bet with ace king ace queen ace jack ace 10 maybe even ace 5 so i'd be a good boy and just fold my hand i ask him later if he had an ace he says yes i'm not sure if i believe him or not charlie let me know in the comments if you had it this is a small setback for me here but still having a great day overall up around 1500 dollars so far hoping that'll continue next up i'm in the big blind with nine four of clubs the small blind is raised to 70 dollars and i put in the re-raise to 225 dollars this might look a little spew but we'll talk about why it's okay in just a few minutes my opponent is going to make the call and we go heads up to the flop which is ace king three with two clubs my opponent checks it on over to me and i of course see bet here with my flush draw i make it 150 dollars to go hoping he folds immediately but he does make the call just like in the first hand i'm wondering how far this adventure will go but not so much of an adventure anymore as the beautiful five of clubs hits the turn i of course continue to bet this time for 525 dollars but he just snap folds his hand now this might look like a little bit of a spewy three bet pre flop but on your screen right now you can see blind versus blind three bet chart you must find these weird and wonderful three bets with hands like king seven offsuit ten four suited nine four suited all these types of hands think how 
wide the small blind is opening. And it's really important that we're punishing that wide small blind opening range and forcing the small blind to fold all sorts of hands like ace nine offsuit, king 10 offsuit, nine seven suited, all these relatively decent hands that just have to fold versus our three bet. It's really important we find these marginal three bets to go along with the stronger parts of our range. Back to the poker here, we're up $1,825, been grinding all day. Next up is a very fun hand. I'm in the small blind with ace queen offsuit. A pro is raised on the button to $50 and I put in the re-raise to $220. The big blind is an American pro from the East Coast and he's going to put in the cold four bet to $475. We're $2,500 effective to start the hand, so I'm not loving life, but I do make the call. Heads up to the flop, hoping to catch a pace, but it comes down a very disappointing 10-8-6 with two spades. I check it on over to my opponent, really happy to see him just check it on back. The turn is the four of clubs and I do toy with the idea of turning my hand into a bluff, but I think this is the threshold for just checking it down. We can bluff with hands like ace-jack suited, king-queen suited. I think ace-queen is just a little bit too strong. So I checked my opponent again, and once again, he just checks it on back. The river is the five of diamonds. I don't think he's ever going to have a rivered straight here. I do have some myself, but again, I think this hand is just a little too strong to bluff. So I checked my opponent. He bows his head and checks it on back. I announce ace-queen. And he says I'm good. This is a crazy cold four bet pot where we both check it on down and my ace high probably beats his ace high. This puts me up $2,650 for the day. Really smooth grind so far, but this is actually the last hand of note that I'm going to play. I go on a long, long spell after this of not picking up any playable hands, finishing up $2,650 for the day. Very, very happy with that. We actually finished with a four-way $200 PLO flip. I am way ahead going into the last card just need to avoid a queen or a club to scoop it all in. I'm just going to let the clip play. Thanks as always for watching. Kindly consider subscribing. Until next time, YouTube, take it easy. Seven or king and you guys are dead. Great draw. Dealer. Right. Gotta wrap. Reveal the river. Right. Queen or a club. Ace. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> Are you serious?